Paul, while writing to the Ephesians, from chapter 1, verse 3 to 10, he told them about the seven blessings we, we receive from in Christ. <laughs> I will not mention them. When you read Ephesians 1, from 3 to 10, you find, you find seven blessings we find in Christ Jesus. The first blessing that praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ because he has given us all the heavenly blessings in Christ Jesus. The first blessing because we are elected, we are selected, we are chosen before the heavens and earth exist. One thing you should value so much is the fact that you are selected, chosen of God. He said that we were chosen long time ago in Christ Jesus. Nothing is like that. Those who value the fact that they were chosen to be God's children, they are all the they are always desiring to be led by God to be like God. They are those people who value to be chosen by God. The second is to give value the price that was paid is to value the price that was paid. Hallelujah! We No! No! You should value the blood of the Son of God. Let me tell you this. The price on something, the cost makes it the value, its value. The money paid on something it represents the, its value. <laughs> the value that we have is equivalent to the price that was paid. <laughs> Failing to attach value to the price that was paid. Failing to ignore the value of that price, it, won't, it would be impossible for you to hear to, to, to obey God. But the day you will attach much value the cost paid. to the price, the cost paid, let me conclude the third one. You can value you represent God here. You allowing to stand and serve in the place of God. There's a man who wrote something. He said that you can be, be tired in the work of the Lord, but never <laughs> tired to serve the Lord. You can be tired in serving God. But do not be burdened by the work service of the Lord. Because the service of the Lord is not a burden. It's a privilege to stand in his place. But when we stand in his place, his burden is not heavy. His burden is not heavy. Because, because, but because of his grace, we are standing to serve him. It's amazing grace to stand in the place of God. It's a great privilege. 
agachiro kintunga now the value of the, of the disciples is equivalent to the value of the one standing there. When you stand in the place of God and give the, the value to the fact that we are chosen and we give value to the cost to the price that was paid, we give value to the, the fact that we are standing serving God. May God enable us to be obedient and be with what he wants us to be. And we can be obedient to him to do what he wants us to do. Our lives is hidden in the obedience to God. Our blessings will be fulfilled only when we are obedient to God. This is what happened. Often I used to think that maybe Cain brought something that was substandard. Or Did he bring things of defect or rotten harvests? The Bible says that God was not pleased with Cain. The problem was not about the The problem was him before the Lord. What we do is equivalent to the value we have before God. Don't you think that what you do matters before God? But the value represents the value you have before God. What you do is valuable and it represents the value you have before God. What you do doesn't add value to you before God. You are valuable before God and he values what you do before him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. As I was reading these scriptures, I Disobedience is not about what you should not do, but what you should know for you to be inside. Not knowing, but what to do. Obedience to God is not for me to understand, but it's for me to help me to do. The greatest knowledge you can know on obedience is do by doing it. Obedience to be and obedience to do. In English, being before doing. Being before doing. Before you think of doing, first think of being. Because after your being, it value what you do. Second. Life is more lively. Life has more life when it is obedient to the one who created it. When we are obedient to the one the day you dedicate your life to something that is not God, it will not be happy. Sometimes we think of uh, enjoying ourselves. You think of working a lot of money for you to be happy. But the joy of the heart is a heart that is obedient to the one who created it. Everything else is something that looks like joy. Everything else we can lose it. But the full joy of heart 
umunezero wuzuye umutima ni umutima ubayeho mu kumvira nyiri kurema but the full joy of the heart is obedience the one who created it the third tujya dutangira kumvira imana iyo twatangiye kutumvira abatwebwe we start being obedient to god when we start listening to ourselves mu buzima kamera yange ijimbira ngo huduma umvira ibindimo nakubwira my nature sometimes tells me to hear it to listen to it mu buzima nkeneye kumvira ngewe cyangwa kumvira imana ntangira kumvira imana iyo natangiye kutumvira ngewe kuko ntibikunda kumvira ngewe ni imana i can only be obedient to god when i start listening to him than listening to myself igihe cyose utarareka kumvira wowe tuzumvira imana when you don't stop obeying yourself you will not be able to obey god igihe kiri munsi y'ubutware bwawe ugiteke kwa nawe as long as you're under your own authority you will not be obedient to god tujya dutangira kumvira imana mu gihe twatangiye kutumvira abatwebwe you become obedient to god the moment you cease obeying yourself kandi sure muri being obedient to god itangira starts iyo natangiye kutumvira ngewe when i cease obeying me kiwo kumvira wowe ngo wongere wumvira imana you cannot do according to your will and be obedient to god wumvira wowe you be you listen to yourself or obey yourself or obey god ariko kumvira wowe ni imana ntibikunda but listening to both or obeying both is not possible kwizera imana bibyari muto yitwa kumvira imana believing in god breeds what we call obedience to god imbuto yera mu kwizera imana yitwa kumvira imana the seed out of faith or believing god is called obedience imbuto yera ku kwizera imana yitwa kumvira imana The seed from a bee of from believing God is obedience. Kibisa bangumbire ngo wewe wizera Imana biransaba ngo ndebe wewe kangahe wumvira Imana. It doesn't need me to ask you if you do believe God. I just need to see if you believe God. Bibasaba kumenya ngo huduma yizera Imana bingana gute? Murareba huduma yumvira Imana bingana gute? You don't need to know me if I believe God, but you need to see if I believe God. Kwizera Imana bijya byera imuto yitwa kuyumvira. Believing God breeds obedience. Kumvira Imana bingana nuko tuyizera. We do believe God according to our standard of, of obedience to God. Standard of muntu yumvira yizera mwimana niyo yumvira mwimana. The measure you are obedient to God is the, the measure you believe God is the same measure you get in obedience to God. Abize imana cyane. Those who believe God bayumvira cyane. Have they are obedient to God. Kindi you are some processes They don't need processes. Nanabwo bibasaba ubusobanuro bwinshi. They don't need more explanations. Ari ndirimba barindi byo zavuga ngo fa kuba ariyo yabivuze. Some the worshipers some there's a song they say that as long as he said. Fa kuba gusa ariyo yabivuze. As long as he said it. Fa kuba gusa yumvise ko ariyo yabivuze. As long as I heard it was from him. Abikora atabitekerejeho. Kubera se kwa nimana yabivuze kandi akaba yizera imana yihutira cyane kubikora because they are sure god said it they are fast to act hallelujah hallelujah intambara the battles of ntambara zo mu buzima umuntu ahura nazo the battles we do encounter in this life yo yo wagerageje kumvira imana ugahura n'intambara if you try to be obedient god you always encounter battles izo ntambara zizazigwanwa nima imana nizihagarara mu ikarwa niyo ntambara god fights those battles Let me repeat it. Intambara umuntu yahura nazo wagerageje kumvira Imana ugahura mu ntambara. Any kind of battle you can encounter in your obedience to God. Izo ntambara Imana ni haguruka ngo izirwane. God fights those battles. Ariko intambara twiremera muri ubu buzima ni twebwe ba responsable babo ni twebwe bo kuzirwana. Ariko intambara ziva mu kumvira Imana Imana ni izizirwana. But the battles we bring upon ourselves we are responsible for them but those that come because we are obedient to God God deals with them. Kumvira Imana ngo tube ikishaka obedience to be as you papa says to be kumvira Imana ngo dukore ibyishaka 
to be obedient to do his will where do we get that power to enable us to do his will or to do his with the power to enable a person where do I get that power to be obedient to God? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is nowhere we can get the motivation to be who God wants us to be. Unless we love God. Anything else you can do serving the Lord without the love of God in you. Someone brought this idea. We used to have a lecture at the university. He used to bring us some opinions. He told us oh, well, a man had two children. You know children are sometimes stubborn, you know, among their age mates. So those age mates one son has he has had his uh, age mates and another had his age mates. so those two sons had one command from their father that told them by 7 p.m. you have to be in the house one told, one son told his uh, colleagues that his, his friends that the, our father said by 7 we have to be at home and then he bids farewell to them because of the command of their father of his father and then the other brother also has his age mates. And he told them, because of the love my father has for me, when I go to school, he gives me pocket money. He buys me scholastic materials. My father loves me and I love him. He gave us a command. Because of the love I love him. Because of the love he loves me. I cannot hurt my father. But I have gone home. <laughs> He would ask us if their father knew the reason why they come the time he commanded them whom he do, would he uh, give the gift? If he knew the, the reasons why his sons are keeping time it I would reward that one who goes home because he knows the love I love him. We are discussing with a certain person and told me they don't give an, the tithe. When they see tithe, they take it to help people. <laughs> And I told him, you're misled. So I told him that alms and tithe are like these hands, like these fingers. Every, every offertory has its own mountain. Giving has its own mountain. Tithe has its own mountain. Alms has its own mountain and offering has its own mountain. Now you can imagine which mountain is that where you are. If there is anything that should motivate us is the love of God. Some people have put it in a commandment. The greatest commandment is love, and love is the only thing that can propel you to serve the Lord. We fail to work. 
to do God's will because of the low love, little love we have for God. Those who love God more it propels to serve the Lord more. Those who love God more they want to be like him. Every morning they have the thirst to be like God. He is his role model. Because of the love he has for him. Because the love you love God. It pushes you to be like him. The love I love God. It pushes me to do his will. No, they don't have to push me. They don't have to push me. The love drives me to do it. Not for the benefit of the church. <laughs> because we are building. No, we are trying to make it look good. Uh -huh, after it's good now. Amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. We can only do it because of the love we love God. Everything else is, is everything else fades. In life, a person is entitled to do two things. In life, a person does two things. He does what builds the eternity or he does what destroys the eternity. What I do now, it will build me, me of eternity or it will destroy me, me of eternity. What am I doing to build me of eternity? Is to, be, is to obey God and do his will. Those who will not partake of eternity are those who are disobedient and that they are destroying their eternity. Those Obedience, we are, are building our eternity. When Jesus was talking to his disciples about loving God, he told them about three things, three people who are not supposed to be of God. Three people who are not supposed to be of God. The first personality that is not of God. The first personality is a person who is who loves their son or daughter more than I. Loving your son or daughter more than I, you are not, you don't deserve to be of God. The second personality is a person who loves their parents more than they love God. The third person is that who is not ready to carry Jesus' cross. What does it mean to carry the cross? It's understandable when we talk about loving your children. Loving your parents, we do understand that. But what does it mean to carry the cross? What does it mean to carry the cross? What is carrying the cross? The explanation is that it's the highest level of commitment because of the love you have for God you are carrying the cross. It's so carrying the cross was symbolic of you loving God so much that you can even die because of him. Let me tell you this. Can you what? Can you give without love? 
but you cannot fail to give when you love. Let me repeat it. You can give without love. But there's no one who loves who cannot give. The real meaning the motivation to do that is the great love that we have for God. What should increase in us? The love that we love God. When we love God so much, we serve Him honestly. When we love God so much, we would desire to look like Him. Let me conclude with this. My time is up. But let me conclude with this. Three things you should value. Without you giving value to these three, you, can, you cannot be obedient to God. Obedience to God is premised on these three things I'm going to tell you. Are we still together? Let's say hallelujah. These are the best things for you to be obedient to God. Is to value the privilege for you to be a son of God. Until to the level you do value that you are the elect of God, you cannot be obedient to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. May God enable us to be obedient and be with what he wants us to be. And we can be obedient to him to do what he wants us to do. Our lives is hidden in the obedience to God. Our blessings will be fulfilled only when we are obedient to God. Obedience to God will be, et will be eternal in our lives. Disobedience to God will deprive us of eternity in God. We praise you, Son of God.